Yeah, Chris, you're absolutely right. It does impact the entire district. In fact, there are 13 home games tonight in Dallas, and security is high here. If you look behind me, you can see there are DISD police officers here, high presence. There's also clearly posted guidelines for what bags you can bring, and there are also there's also a metal detector here as well. This is all a precaution after what happened on Saturday. Uh, yep, it was four shots. The gunshots echoed. I definitely notice a jolt of adrenaline. It's Students, coaches, parents, referees were in a panic, and the man behind the camera was two. The second I started rolling is when you hear the gunshots. WFAA sports producer Paul Melton was covering the South Oak Cliff Kimball game at Ellis Davis Fieldhouse on Saturday. I've been to thousands of games over the years, and and this has never happened before. And odds are, uh, I. I Hopefully, we'll never see anything like this again. Dallas ISD Superintendent Michael Hinojosa is disappointed. I was going from so high to so low so fast. He says a 15-year-old student shot an 18-year-old in the chest. We're going to have to make some adjustments because of this crisis. He is now enforcing new safety policies. We have a lot of ball games on Tuesday. Starting immediately, metal wands will be used. No bags, purses, or backpacks are allowed at games this week, and the clear bag rule will start next week. I'm appreciative because I think all of those things should have been in place initially, because I think our kids get a hold of guns and they don't think, they don't understand the consequences. It's part of a long-term plan for DISD security, a way for students and fans to feel safe again. Yeah, it's a good thing, but uh, you know, you, you just hate that uh, that it's necessary. I'm praying still that the young man is okay and that the, we don't have to worry about this again. And these clear bag guidelines are all posted around the field house. It says here you can only have clear totes 12 by 12, plastic storage bags that are a gallon, and small clutch purses. This is all part of safety measures for the students and the fans. Back to you.